All right, back in the basement again for a quick video. Want to just update you on this 28 millimeter grab bag bar I got from Rogue, which cost me $150. And if you're not familiar with the grab bag, what that is, it's something that Rogue does on very limited occasions. I think maybe like twice per year, maybe I've seen them do it. They basically just throw up a hodgepodge of bars and it's first come first serve. When they're gone, they take that URL down and you can't find it otherwise. Now the grab bag is different than let's just say the Boneyard. The Boneyard, you pretty much know what you're gonna get, a cosmetically blemished bar. The grab bag is more of anything could happen, right? It could be a used bar at the games, could be a used bar from their facility. It could be a new bar with just cosmetic damage. It could be a Frankenstein bar. You don't really know what you're gonna get other than just the diameter of that barbell. So in this instance for the grab bag, they had 28, 28 and a half and 29 millimeter bars available. I was able to grab a 28 millimeter bar. That was all that was left at the time. Was, as I said, these things go pretty quick. And the reason I got a weightlifting bar despite not doing weightlifting is because looking on Rogue's website, the cheapest weightlifting bar they offer is $360 with a majority of the bars in there going between $500 to $600 each. So I figured for $150, it was worth a shot to see if I maybe got something good. Now I've also done a grab bag bar in the past for a 29 millimeter bar, which was only $100. I ended up getting a 20 kg Ohio power bar in black zinc, which was in phenomenal shape. So you can't really beat that. And again, figured it was worth the shot and would make an interesting video just because I've seen a lot of people get a lot of different things. But that being said, I was not prepared for what I received because when I take a look at this barbell and the shaft and trying to piece together what I actually got, Rogue doesn't sell anything like this on their site. So from what I can tell, the shaft is from an Olympic weightlifting bar in Bright Zinc. That's a $560 barbell. That barbell also is supposed to come with Bright Zinc sleeves with bearings inside of it, hence the higher cost. Really good spin, really good whip, you know, only Olympic weightlifting marks. Based off of the color, the looks, the knurl of this bar, where the marks are on it, definitely can say that this is more than likely the Olympic weightlifting bar in Bright Zinc. The sleeves, while also looking like they're in bright zinc, however, were really perplexing to me because again, this is supposed to come with bearings and a certain thickness of collar. And what I ended up getting were Rogue Ohio Power Bar 20 kg sleeves on it. At least that's what I assume because I've never seen these sleeves on anything but an Ohio Power Bar 20 kg from Rogue. They're very similar to what you'll find on the Alico powerlifting bars or any other competition style bar, super thin collars. And I've never seen that, like I said, on any other Rogue barbells, especially a 28 millimeter one, because to my knowledge, they're only made for 29 millimeter, 20 kg Ohio power bars, which maybe be an interesting video to see if I can fit some different collars on different thicknesses of bars and see if it really does make a difference or not. These are a little bit more audible in the sleeves with a little bit more play than I'm used to from Rogue bars. So again, my thought process here is, is that they're meant for 29 millimeter barbells. Now taking a look at this one, like I said, it doesn't look like it's actually been used. So it's not a used grab bag. I think what happened is because of the cosmetic damages to this, which are very slight at that. On the shaft itself, there's a small press in near one of the collars. I'll try to show you a close up of it where the knurl is kind of dulled and it's actually a little bit of a flat mark in there. So I'm thinking as they terminated the knurl, maybe they over machined it a little bit too much. And more than likely what happened was they were in the process of building this bar and said, hey, this shaft is ruined. There's no point in putting those nice high expensive sleeves with the bearings in it. Let's just throw this on the scrap heap and we'll find it use for it later. And the same can kind of be true of the collars and sleeves on here because if you take a look at the inside of each collar, there's a little bit of a marking on each one. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It's not a letter necessarily. It just looks like it was machined the wrong way. Something got dinged here or there. And probably same thing. They said, we can't use these sleeves on a bar. Let's just throw it in the scrap heap and we'll find a use for it later. And here comes along the Rogue grab bag where they said, hey, we have this shaft, it's okay, but we need some sleeves for it. Let's just throw something on it. And I think that's what they did. So very interesting Frankenstein type bar, because like I said, the shaft with the normal collars it's supposed to have would retail for like $560. And even the 20 kg Ohio power bar starts at I think around like 350 or 360 for even just like the basic version, let alone the stainless steel. So you really have a good, Olympic weightlifting shaft with really good powerlifting sleeves and collars on it. So 
little bit perplexing, but that's okay. And for $150, I can't really complain. Just thought it was interesting. I'd share it with you in case you're thinking of grabbing a grab bag bar when they're available, which I highly recommend. If you have any questions about this bar, the grab bag, or anything else in general, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. But in the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.